Daniel. Hey, sorry, hi, I'm Mickey. <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at the Facebook update. And you're watching episode 17 of Gear 65, the weekly gadget show where we show you off a brand new show you off. Where we show off a brand new gadget every single week. Uh, this week we're taking a look at the Sony Ericsson C510. Um, very well integrated with Facebook. Very well, a bit too well that uh, yeah. it doesn't get hey, I, it's like, so. There's so many updates on Facebook. Uh, so we're just going to be talking about some of the interesting things regarding the C510. And uh, if looking for a very detailed review and perform performance and all that, uh, the written review will be up. Hopefully eventually, <laughs> at some time, somewhere, yes. But uh, so we just want to show you some of the highlights regarding this phone, and uh, let's start with the design. Um, and the highlight of the design is the fact that there's nothing special about it. It's a normal candy bar. It's a normal candy bar Sony Ericsson phone, right? It's yeah. a little design. Even the, the the scheme, the like the stripe thing, right? Um, it's been around for quite a few cyber shot phones right. recently. Quite classic. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's there's a I guess yeah like like, like DK said, you know, if, if, it's, if, if it's not, not broken, broken, then don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yes. Yeah. After all, there's I think there's a lot of people who like this kind of design. Yeah. So um, you know the the the, the also this button doesn't have a back button. Right. This this phone doesn't have a back button. I'm sorry. And they, they shifted the shortcut button here. Uh, this is the actually their, their the shortcut, shortcut button, button for like alternate tapping and uh, multitasking and stuff like that, events right, yes. and stuff. The shortcut button used to be here. And yeah. So the also don't use just don't have this call and hang up button. Hey, yeah, that's true. I never noticed that. Yeah. Now, so this now used to be yeah, correct, correct, correct. Oh, very interesting. In the past, this was the internet access. This, this is, is the shortcut. shortcut, the activity button they call it, right? Yes. An activity button. So, um, and another thing is that um, DK has no problem with this, but I have a problem with the the, the way the button works because you see, right? Um, the button kind of like from up here then it goes downwards, right? So it can, you can imagine that it's kind of like a hinge like this, right? So right. the problem is that when you usually for me, right, the first thing I respond is that I will push the pro protruding part of the button. Okay. okay. And the problem now is that the protruding part is actually where the hinge is. So I, I tend to push this part, but because it's part of the hinge, the, the button won't respond. So so you have to push like the inside, well, the inside I of the button. Uh, I Maybe find it a little bit, yeah. The way that we... The past few phones were all Sony Ericsson. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't really like this, uh, because you see, uh, if, I, if I push it, it doesn't... Nothing do, responds, but if I push, you have to push into it inwards. Yeah, that's, that's one thing about it. So um, the highlight of this phone though is, is the, Facebook. the Facebook. Yes, yeah. basically you, you can just... Access face. You can look at your Facebook friend status without touching a single button. So, so yeah, you, you can, can see it's doing it. Uh, all his Facebook friends. friends. Uh, hey, hi, Audrey. Yeah, Audrey <laughs> is from uh, Hill and Norton. Oh, hey, yeah, what coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> completely unplanned. <Yes. laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, so there's the the Facebook application. Basically, on the desktop, you can see all that. Right. Let, let's so go to. I uh, can to press. push the Facebook right. Yeah. When you press it, you can go left and right. Let's look for you Audrey. Where's, where's Audrey? So this is Audrey's. Yes. Yep. And then uh, what, what do you do? Can you, you can just push press it. Press the center button to go to the, page. the full Facebook page. Yes. Sorry, the brightness of the screen is a little. It's hard to capture the the no, screen. No, 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 no. Uh, it's fine actually. Yeah. Okay. So so um so you can so see you this can is actually go to a Facebook page. You can update your own status. You can see your friend's status. So this, wait. Oh, this isn't Audrey's status. It's everybody is it? I thought it's supposed to go to that status. No, uh, this is everybody. Okay. Strange. Oh well. So basically, they are built-in Facebook application. Right. Then you can actually comment on somebody's status, but this is the weird part. You can't comment on the status on this application. When you press go to, right, you'll go to a web version where you place your comment. Oh. Well, I guess but that, you know, that in other words, the application is just like a shortcut, like a viewer, la, right? Right. So the, the, all the real stuff is actually still, still the, the normal mobile. web, which any phone with a web browser can get to, right? m.facebook.com. Yes. I think the best feature is the showing of the Facebook status on the desktop. On the desktop itself. Right. Yeah, and it just scrolls through automatically, right? Yes. Yeah. And it suck up your data plan. <laughs> So make sure you have a data plan where you can. Actually, no I think it should be okay lah. With 500 megabytes data plan is enough for this. Right, uh, right, right. But make sure you have at least a data plan. Yep. And uh, this is a 3G phone, so you can see there's a video, there's a front-facing camera inside in front right. here. There's no Wi-Fi on this. Yeah, uh, I'm not expecting to find Wi-Fi on this camera. Right. <laughs> this phone. So you know what's a CyberShot camera without playing with a camera, right? So this uh, CyberShot. C510 comes with a 3.2 megapixel camera right. with a LED flash 
as well as autofocus. Disappointing? Yeah, it should come with a Xenon flare. Yeah, but then again, it's a budget phone, right? Right. Yeah, so Xenon, the, the only few Xenon uh, camera phones out there today are the Nokia N85, the Motorola ZM5 and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, the, the K850. And the K850. Yeah, so, uh, but it's fine. So let's take a look at some of the settings that you can actually play with this. There's an autofocus, so there's a small shutter. Okay, yes. panorama, there's a, this, there's a modes, right? These are Sorry? The uh, preset mo modes. modes. Okay, 3 megapixels, uh, auto face detection, for autofocus, and timer, and white balancing. So pretty, a lot of settings you can play with. Right. Okay. But the photos output is a bit greenish. A bit gre greenish or grainy? Green greenish. Greenish, okay. So I'm going to take a picture right now. Flash is not on. It's a little dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the, the flash. Oh, okay. So, do you want to on the flash? Uh, I think we do on. Okay. Dark. This place is too dark. Yeah. So, that was without the flash, and we're going to take one with the flash. Flash button. Oh. Okay, now it's on already, right? Let's try that again. Oh, very bright. <laughs> and that, that's too much already. Yeah, and of course there's a video camera as well. So, um, 30 frames per second? 30 frames per second, is it? Yes. So you can shoot a video and like say hi, Farinelli. Hi, Farinelli. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Well, by the way, a little cameo here. What you're seeing in the back here is the, um, the next product. The, the next product. product. Really you want to guess what it is? We're going to be showing them off on the next episode of Gear 65. Yeah, so we're going to be showing them off on the next episode of Gear 65. So, in summary, basically, this is a, a, a budget camera. Yeah, it's 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 it's a, a budget phone. Gosh, oh, I keep saying. Camera phone. It's phone a camera, camera phone. Whatever. Uh, it's a budget phone. About four, uh, five hundred Singapore dollars without contract. Yes. So with contract, it's about two hundred to three hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, and uh, it's it's actually for for that kind of price, um, uh, an uh, average Ooh. camera, with the Facebook functionality and all that. So it's a, it's probably one of those things that you might want to consider if you're looking for a very budget phone because it has that little bit of value add there in terms right. of the Facebook. But if you go use a Facebook feature, remember to get. A yes. Yes, remember to get a data plan. Okay, and that ten the ten megabyte data plan doesn't cut it. So <laughs> it's not gonna work. Alright, so this has been uh, oh one more thing by the way. Memory is using a M2 card. It's always an M2 on the uh, Sony Okay, okay. Sony Ericsson M2 yeah, card. One thing I don't like is the charger is at the side. Yeah. Here, here, here. Sorry. Here is at the side. So which means your earphone will also be at the side. It's fine alright? Yeah, the, your, the, 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 the plug is angular, right? Yeah, but if you put it in your pocket, you will extend a bit here on the left. I, I think it's fine, I, personally. My personal yeah. preference will be on the top or the bottom. My, my personal preference is that it's fine. It's okay. So one thing I actually want to mention, one more thing I want to mention regarding the C510 is that, um, you know, the software, right, for the, what do you call, um, not so smart phones by Sony Ericsson, right? The operating system that's running in it, right? The proprietary software. It's actually it's actually very very mature compared yes. to something like say the TouchWiz user interface by Samsung, which has only been around since last year. Right. This has been like since before yes, yeah. K750. Yeah, I can't way remember back. which model. I had one of the first few phones that have uh, this this new software, and they've improved right. it so much. So you know, there's a lot of uh, great stuff inside there. The multitasking, the activity button, for example, yes. uh, the copy and pasting is inside there as well. Right. Copy a lot of uh, a lot of great features and if you know the, you know the buttons and the shortcuts well right, you can do things and go to things very quickly right. so that's one of the advantages of having this phone because the software is really very mature um, compared to some of the newer software that you're seeing in today's market yeah. okay so uh, that's it for the Sony Ericsson C510 if you have any questions you want to ask us regarding this phone you can email us gear65 at tech65.org I like the gadgets that we've been playing for the past few episodes um, we're gonna have this gadget forever, so <laughs> it's ours to this. keep. Yeah, the lucky guy over on the phone. So, you know, just send us an email address. Uh, send us an email to gear65 at tech65.org. Or you can visit our website at tech65.org for all our previous episodes of Gear 65, including the Samsung Ultra Touch, the Sony Vial Key, and uh, up some upcoming episodes. This little thing here, right? And uh, no prices for guessing what it is. Right. So as well as our other podcasts such as 65 bits. So that's it for this episode. I'm Daniel. I'm DK. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.